Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 27th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had all kinds of bullish activity in the early part of the day, but by the end of the day, we saw a little bit of selling pressure coming into the market. Everyone was highly anticipating these big tech earnings but wasn't really quite sure what the results might be so they sold off just a little bit heading into those earnings reports by and large they came off pretty well um, but um, interesting that not major changes in the price action of some of these charts after uh, some rather blowout earnings from Google and Microsoft. So let's take a look at these charts this morning, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today in the hump day version of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. it means the world to me to have so many folks that leave such kind, kind comments, and um, I truly appreciate it. Um, you know, it does take quite a bit of effort to put out a daily morning video, but um, it's worth the effort because um, one of my one of my major pleasures in life is helping other traders do a better job and. Um, uh, see their their profits improve so thank you so much for everyone who does participate with these videos let's take a look here at these charts and see if we can gain some information first off um, one of the things that we can see that's a little bit noteworthy is for the first time in 10 days we have a black candle on the chart bit of a bearish engulfing candle uh, maybe more of a dark cloud cover candle in the chart now a dark cloud cover or a bearish engulfing candle must have a follow-through to be valid meaning we must see that follow through and close lower than yesterday's um, close. Now, whether that can happen with all of this data coming our way, um, you know, that's going to be the question. But one thing for sure, if we do rest and pull back um, or pull back, we have some price support levels that we could hold on to and gain a little bit of price support. Now, I, I will say that if we were to pull back into this stronger level of price support, that could be a rather painful pullback for a lot of folks, particularly if you got in late stage in the move. And let's um, also keep in mind that if that level right in here would not hold, then um, we our bigger price support level is down here. And that would certainly raise some eyebrows and bring some pain into the market if that were to occur. However, I have to say, we're so hopped up on um, earnings anticipation. And remember, we still have, you know, the monster of Apple reporting tomorrow. So um, there's still going to be a lot of energy here in the market. I doubt if we pull back, we really see that substantial pullback at least yet but watch for a possible little resting pattern here today and we do have some economic data that could encourage that just a little bit more let's take a look at the spy spy also extremely bullish yesterday pushing up um, setting new record highs leaving behind a bit of a well not exactly a shooting star pattern has a little bit more weight on that but certainly a little bit of a bearish pattern that we haven't seen for a while here in uh, the market with all of the um, buy side energy. So watch that carefully. We've pushed through those record highs. We could have a resting pullback into here and that wouldn't hurt us at all. As a matter of fact, I think it would be a healthy move for the market. And just note that if that doesn't hold, we have very little price support. Um, you know in this rally and notice we've got big gaps left behind so um, if that does not hold then um, you tell me but um, we could have some pretty substantial pullbacks if um, those price levels don't hold here in the market so watch carefully for that 
The NASDAQ, it's been lagging behind a little bit, but boy, it surged hard yesterday. It really was in a push. Wanted to see some new records, but just couldn't quite get her done. Pushed up into here and we tickled up here and just couldn't hold on to it. Uh, pulling back and as you can see, um, putting in a shooting star pattern, which is a topping pattern. And um, if we were to get a little bit of follow through here on that, we might um, maybe hold in this price support level, I suspect, if we push on lower. We'll come back down here and test this little support level, which is a good thing that that we have placed some price support underneath this level here. So watch that carefully if we slip down into here. Wouldn't be a major problem. Now that did would bring up that possible double top um, in in the pattern or in the chart if that were to continue to fail. But so far with all the, the energy that we have on the buy side, um, I would think that's unlikely, at least at the moment. We would need some kind of major stumble in the market for that to occur. So just watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at our IWM. Now the Russell, that doggone thing continues to be challenged by this downside price um, resistance. We popped through and then yesterday we ended up placing a bearish engulfing candle here on the chart, suggesting that we should follow back through and break that support once again. So watch that carefully if we dip back below that level. Remember we just, we have lots of congestion here in the Russell. And it's gonna be really dependent on those financials. If we take a look at the XLF, um, it's going to depend on the financials that have calmed here just a little bit after this tremendous rally and it's going to uh, depend on energy and energy has remained very very strong but we do have a petroleum number today that we'll want to be keeping an eye on so the Russell has a little bit of a challenge just with all that price resistance but it has remained bullish in the chart let's take a look at our T excuse me our VIX we better look at the VIX first. That VIX struggled a little bit yesterday and it was giving us a little bit of warning um, earlier on in the day. As we were rallying, 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 seeing that big surge going into the NASDAQ, there just wasn't any, um, any indication in the VIX that fear was continuing to fall. So we've pressed down here, we're testing these um, levels of price support in the chart down here maybe showing just a little bit of complacency here in this chart um, we continue to follow this uh, down whoops this downtrend um, but i gotta tell you um, we could see a little bit of bounce um, coming up um, in this level now we do have all of these earnings that can certainly keep the energy uh, moving here but if we had a little bit of market pullback we could see a bounce maybe back up into this level or maybe even a little bit higher if it got um, a little bit more extreme which i kind of doubt that it will at least at the moment but just watch that carefully we could catch just a little bit of bounce a little bit of fear coming in here if the market does find a reason to pull back then let's take a look at our t 2122. Now, T2122 has been very, very elevated, but yesterday in that selling into the close, we did relieve some of that overbought pressure in the chart. Now, we we have had this kind of an upside, tr uh, tri upside trend here, so we could easily catch ourselves um, here this morning. If we can find some bullish energy, we could catch ourselves and bounce right back up into this area. But I got to tell you, um, this pattern would suggest a little bit more downside is likely to come here in um, T2122. However, if those bulls can get that energy, we've, we've opened up some opportunity and we've relieved that short-term overbought condition here uh, with that little bit of selling. So we can find that energy. It certainly has opened that opportunity. Keep in mind, we still have that big open opportunity down here 
if we continue to find some reason to sell. So watch that carefully. And then, um, you know, yesterday I was talking about the possibility of the pop and drop. And essentially, that's kind of what we got yesterday. We pushed up to new record highs and then sellers came in. So I want you to, you know, to, to note that T2122 is one of those valuable indicators that actually gives us those warnings of those possible possible areas in the chart. So keep a close eye on this indicator. It is a handy indicator to watch. Then let's take a look at our T2107. Now T2107 had a little bit of resting pullback yesterday, but no harm, no foul here. We're still holding above this downtrend and we're holding on to some price support here in this chart so if we rest or pull back in here and bounce off of that i think we're going to be okay um, in here we don't want to see us starting to slip back down um, breaking some of those support levels in the chart but so far getting more of these um, uh, stocks below their 200 perking back up and coming back up we got about 47 percent of our stocks back above that 200 day moving average. So that helps quite a bit. Then our T2101, the absolute market breadth, really didn't make a big move yesterday. It was just kind of blase. Um, so we've pushed back up toward this, this downtrend in the chart. Let's see how that continues to work here. If we continue to wedge this pattern out with this bullishness or not, um, it, where we would probably see a spike above this level is this, if some real fear came into the market and spike above. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has um, a couple of market moving reports potentially. Notice um, the biggest one of the day is probably going to be this durable goods. I think that's probably a little bit of the pullback in the market this morning that we're seeing in the pre-market is a bit of nervousness about this number. Um, durable goods orders, according to the analysts, is, um, is, is expected to come in at a negative 0.9. Um, that is a decline from a positive 1.8 on the last read. So we want to watch that closely. If our durable goods orders are falling, that would not bode well for our overall economy. Um, so keep a close eye on that. If it happens to come in around that negative 0.9, we might be fine with all of the um, uh, earnings energy in the market. But if it were to come in worse than that, we might see a little bit of negative reaction because we're, we're really starting to see those market internals turning and showing a little bit of problem. So we've been able to ignore them for quite a while here, but let's watch that one closely. Um, if it comes in better than expected of course then all bets are off we could certainly race right up to new highs again and then we have that international trade in goods we should care about this number but we don't for some reason the fact that we don't make much of anything in this country we depend on other countries for all of our supplies doesn't seem to bother um, most folks and those trade deficits just continue to widen. It should be a concern, but it hasn't been for some time here for the market. So I would expect us to completely ignore this number as well. And then we have that petroleum status. Of course, this is where the Russell comes in today. Uh, petroleum has been extremely strong moving to the upside, all of those energy prices pushing up, um, adding pressure to the inflation. And as you can see, um, depending on how that number comes in, it could either support those um, higher energy prices, pushing them any bit higher, or it could, um, if we got a surprise build in supplies, then we could see that potential decline relieving some of that pressure. Um, keep in mind as you plan forward, guys, we have another big number tomorrow morning. We get the GDP number and uh, throw in those jobless claims that tend to be just a little bit on the pesky side here recently. So watch that closely. Let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Now we have a big earnings calendar here today with we're getting close to 200 companies reporting and tomorrow over 200 companies 
on that list. So if you want to get a full list of the notables, guys, you're going to have to hop back to the um, blog and you can get to the blog just by clicking that link below the title of the video. Um, there's, um, I just put a handy dandy link right there, right below the title of the video so you can jump back. You can check on all of those um, reports coming out uh, this morning. Um, let's take a look with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has reported this morning and wow, um, a big pop coming here on Coca. Looks like they uh, bested those um, results pretty strongly. So keep a close eye on Coke. We have uh, Bristol Myers that will be reporting today. We'll be hearing from General Dynamics. We'll be hearing from General Motors and Ford. Um, so lots of reports here. We've got a Harley Davidson report in here um, to be paying attention to. We've got eBay after the bell today um, as one of our, our techs um, um, reporting today. Um, so with all of these reports, guys, anything is possible. Make sure you're paying close attention to these and be careful because we have seen um, a miss um, in stocks like Texas Instruments, very punishing moves if we happen to catch that miss. So watch very, very carefully and don't overly anticipate on these earnings events. They can be really punishing if they happen to go against you. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up guys but before we do that if you could do me a quick favor this is the first time you've seen these va uh, videos please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time i post a video and also guys if you could do me a favor if you feel like this video was worthy if you found it helpful please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment it's the engagement with a video that makes the difference so the more you engage, the better it is, and the more times the algorithm will show this, these videos to other folks. So thank you, everyone, for those who take the time to do that. And also, a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. Uh, again, below the title of the video, um, um, members of Hit Run Candlesticks, Right Away Options, you guys, you guys support us already there's no requirement but I, I put that there for folks that that aren't members and and um, utilize this information and, and would like to help support the channel so thanks to everyone who does do that you guys are truly awesome and we're going to see some changes coming to the channel here soon hey by the way guys we went over 24,500 subscribers we're headed toward that 25,000 level and like I have said before um, I am a wood carver and um, I've been preparing some um, Christmas trees uh, for family and friends and stuff like that um, that I've carved. And I will be giving one of these personally carved trees away to um, someone um, on the channel for um, um, thanking you uh, for reaching 25,000. So when we reach 25,000, just watch for that. We'll do some kind of a special drawing thing, and that'll be kind of a fun day. Um, and I'll get that shipped out to you. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And please realize, guys, that as we look at these stocks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do all of your own due diligence. Blindly following someone else's trade is a very, very bad idea. You need to understand the risk and plan that risk carefully. Let's take a look at some of these um, metal stocks. Take a look at Alcoa here. Whoop, boy, I've got a really fast mouse here all of a sudden. Alcoa, doggone it, I would, would have been kind of watching this. We have this uh, aluminum shortage beginning to happen, and I was thinking we might catch some support in here and start lifting to the upside. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Now, my rule is when we break a price support level in the chart, when we push down break a price support level, um, then this stock is no longer a candidate for a long until it can recover that support and move up from there. So Alcoa, doggone it, you kind of disappointed me here. Possible failure 
um, here coming in Alcoa. Take a look at um, General Motors. GM, now GM's gonna re report earnings today, but we have a really good setup here in this chart. Notice that we've moved up nicely um, in a trend. We've kind of drifted out here sideways. We're consolidating in this area. So I've actually placed a price alert on this chart. I gotta tell you that earnings could mess that up absolutely and completely, but keeping a close eye here on General Motors for that potential upside move. You might want to keep an eye on a stock Fubo. Fubo, notice we've got this big old downtrend break. There's that tried and true pattern. If you guys haven't seen that video, just go check that out on the YouTube um, um, channel um, just a few days ago that was posted but we break this downtrend and we're holding this higher level of support in here and so I'm kind of watching this now certainly we have a pretty substantial resistance level in this chart to consider so you may not want to buy it right here as it tries to poke out because we could pop and then turn around and fail but we could also wait for that thing to break hold this higher low up here and then um, move on through to the upside fubo could be an interesting one to be keeping an eye on let's take a look at that silver silver pulling back to this trend now um, we have seen gold and silver um, and other metal stocks starting to really get strong. Now, silver has got a little bit of a problem here in the fact that it's pulled back the last few days and um, we're still holding above our 50 day moving average. But I gotta tell you, other than that, with this price resistance above and holding in this trend, if we were to find some bulls in here, that possibility over the next couple of days, we could start pushing back up and maybe break through some resistance in that chart. Keep a close eye on silver. And it's honestly a better looking chart than gold. Gold, doggone it, just continues to struggle. We're above our downtrend in the chart, but we still have all of this congested uh, price resistance here uh, to deal with and unfortunately we're still kind of hanging out right around that 200 day moving average so a little bit of challenge here left in um, that chart however let's take a look at copper 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 could be setting up in here we've been we're in this little price range where we've got resistance above support below we're just kind of chopping around in here i would keep an eye on this now i drew this trend line up here but i, I honestly believe this trend was too steep if we were to flatten this out a little bit come back to um, this area right in here Notice that we could consolidate here for a while, but let's watch that closely. If we can get some of that bullish energy coming in, we could pop this early at any time and get up here above that resistance. And that's probably where I would be interested in that chart. So keep a close eye on that um, coming along pretty good. Um, you might want to take a look at um, AMD. Now, AMD um, passed through its earnings yesterday. We left behind a shooting star pattern, but we got through earnings without too much turmoil here in AMD. Now this has been quite an extended move to the upside. So let's watch this one for that resting pullback in here. See if we can kind of gain some support in here, hold on to that trend basically, and see if there's some more upside in that chart. We might also want to keep an eye on, um, um, some of these um, energy stocks like um, Ballard Power. Ballard Power has been consolidating in this range. This, these are fuel cell technologies. And as we challenge that resistance in here, we know green energies are pretty popular with this administration. So let's watch that carefully if there's that possibility that could pop through. And also uh, Plug Power. Plug rallied up into that resistance level in the chart, just kind of resting there. So watch for that opportunity that that could push on through. I got to tell you guys, um, with energy being as strong as it is, I think it'd be wise to continue to keep an eye in that energy sector. Lots of those stocks looking good. Take a look at Valero Energy. We are testing a major top here in that chart, but it, with energy so strong, I have to um, I have to um, think. Um, 
we're gonna just gonna be refining more and more energy here so watch that carefully uh, Valero could set up here for an upside move but if it fails in here that could be an ugly triple top um, also take a look at stocks like rig rig could be setting up there's that downtrending look in the chart where we're trying to fill out this wedge and we've been consolidating here along support watch for a little bit of energy push if there's that possibility we could pop that uh, downtrend and start making some moves here in that and then if you're looking for some um, dividend paying stocks boy I gotta tell you there's a lot of good divvy payers out here in these energy sector stocks and um, Exxon Mobil yesterday broke through some significant resistance here um, in the chart any rest or pullback in here would now set up a pretty nice opportunity and look at that look at that nice fat dividend up here um, looking forward so Exxon Mobil could start paying pretty well for those who want a little bit longer term trade so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all of the best I want to wish you a very successful day in your trading be safe be careful We'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.